Okay, welcome everybody. Um, essentially what this is, is people like Scott Manley and Hot Gaming and all that, they do all these Let's Plays of Kerbal Space Program, but they never go into very much detail on how they build or launch the rockets or the exact procedures behind it all. So what I'm going to be doing for you all is essentially teaching you the step-by-step -step on everything. So this first video, I'm going to teach you pretty much how to build your rocket and make it so it can actually leave the launch pad. Alright, so what you want to do is we want to leave the launch pad, drop our engine and fuel, and land safely. So we're going to pick the lander can, and it's meant for landing, go figure. Alright, so to land safely, well actually let's do it this way. To build a rocket, essentially you want to build it backwards. You want to think your last step and all this is landing. So to land, of course, we need lander legs, which are over here. And the utilities come over here. And you can go all the way up to the LT2 landing strip, but I think those are a little bit big for the landing can, so we'll just use these. And you at least want three. And the nice thing about the lander can is it's shaped like an octagon, so you, that you can more easily line everything up. So we're going to put these just like that. Now the problem is with landing, of course, is we're going fucking fast. So we're going to need a parachute to slow us down. We can use the the bigger one here or the smaller one. We can even go to the Mark 16, which is a tiny little guy. So we'll probably go right in the middle, which is that guy. That way we're slowing down and we have legs to land on. And we just might go over water, but whatever we'll, we'll survive that okay so now we have our final step complete we will be able to land safely from pretty much any altitude with that next we want to build the thing that gets us up into the air high enough where we can test this so we're gonna build a stack separator right underneath it and that's to attach our fuel system now everybody always wants to jump to the big gun that's not really necessary. For a small thing like this, we're working with just quick math, uh, 0.2 mass there, and then three of these, so 0.15 and 0.2 is 0.35, and then the lander can, that thing only weighs 0.6, so we're looking at about one ton total right there. So we don't have to lift that much. So what we're going to do is we're just going to either use a small solid booster like that, or I'll even get a little bit fancier for you all. Put on a fuel tank here, and then uh, the standard liquid fuel engine. And that's great. We got the rocket blasting off here at the bottom right, then it separates, then we do our landing procedure. So now we throw on the these things right here. These make it so it stands still when it's about to launch, because we don't want it sitting on the engine. I've had rockets detach and everything. Now, here you can either there's two ways you can do this. You can make it so the engine fires before you release the clamps, or you can do them both at the same time. When you do them both at the same time, you want to have it throttled up. Always have it throttled up before these ha release. So, for the sake of time and everything, I'm just going to do them both at the same time, making sure that I'm throttled up. So now we're going to go ahead and name this Build Rocket Tutorial 1. Sounds legit to me. So we'll save it and launch it. Now, some computers like mine take a little bit while for the load. No idea why. Probably because I'm recording. So, yeah. Just... Oh, wait. Wait. Here we... Okay. Alright. So, as I said, since we have the uh, rocket and the uh, clamps all in the same one, we're going to have to throttle it up by holding shift first. I hit the T key just to make it so we continue pointing up all the way up and then we hit space and then from there it just flies up up and up and just so I'm not wasting everybody's time look at that we built a rocket it goes straight up very stable nothing fancy and now we're out of fuel I did that by hitting X that cuts your throttle completely I hit space to release that section Okay. Now, as you know, we have the parachute. Alright. Now I'm gonna go to times for acceleration. I use the uh, lesser than greater sign to adjust my time warp like that. And we're gonna go all the way down. 
And while we're going down, I'm going to hit the G key to deploy our awesome landing legs. And we should be able to land safely like this. I don't see why we wouldn't be able to, but just in case we don't land, it would probably be because the landing legs are not centered on the um, landing cam as I thought it would be. Made a mistake there. So probably should have done four landing legs, but as you can see, everything works fine, and we'll see you next time for how to get into space.